Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about the Blue Yeti USB microphone for professional sounding recording. First of all, I'm pleased to introduce the most advanced, versatile, and very affordable multi-pattern USB microphone available today. The Yeti is really the ultimate tool for creating amazing recordings, no matter what the source or environment. And best of all, the Yeti can capture anything. The Yeti delivers exceptional performance with low distortion and balanced frequency response. It's really obvious that the people at Blue Mic really put a lot of fortitude and creative engineering into the Blue Yeti, even down to the marketing and the packaging. Here's the dude himself, introducing the Yeti, or a bottomless snowman. It's said that he's an ape-like cryptid, taller than the average human, similar to Bigfoot that inhabits the Himalayan region of Nepal and Tibet. Stories of the Yeti first emerged as a facet of Western popular culture in the 19th century. The Yeti may be considered a sort of parallel myth to the Bigfoot of North America. Well, the Blue Met Yeti Mike is a real cutie pie, and like the abominable snowman, the Yeti kicks butt. Ever since I saw my very own Yeti on Christmas Day, I fell in love, and you will too. Santa got him at Amazon.com for about a hundred bucks. So, well, first of all, we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to talk to you about setting the microphone levels accordingly with your built-in PC microphone and how to adapt the Yeti to use your stereo in place of headphones. And also a little bit about how we're going to be using Audacity, a free recording software, with the Yeti. And last but certainly not least, the Yeti, his fabulous design and recording capabilities. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be using my Philips Stereo to act as the microphone jack. And what we're using here is a Windows Pavilion 7 laptop. And that goes in there. Uh, and um, the Yeti. So well, let's get started. The Yeti manual will walk you through setting up whatever type of system that you have that you'll be using. That way, when you get this far, you'll see the Yeti listing as one of the default in the microphone option. What I'm going to show you to do is how to basically sync back and forth between default options. So like I said, we went into the uh, control panel. We're going to just do that one more time. To the sound, you'll see that I have Yeti, but it's not on default, and that my speakers are defaulting to my stereo, which is AKA laptop. First of all, well, now that we've got that all set up, and I'm hoping that you do too, about the Yeti microphone itself. First of all, I want to compliment the design of the Yeti. It's got a really sturdy base which is really nice, okay? This, this guy is real substantial. And uh, there's, on the bottom of here, you're going to have your USB port, okay, which is going from here into the port here. Now, the Yeti, the people at Blue Yeti um, have told me in the manual, and I'm going to tell you too, that you won't want to use one of these USB additional ports. They want you to plug it directly right into the PC. So remember that. And uh, basically, you have here the USB port. You have an eighth of an inch headphone jack for monitoring your playback, or you can do what I'm doing, which is using my stereo. And then you also have here a uh, adapter so that you can use it on, let's say, a traditional microphone stand. And you also have a standard thread mount right here. Um, where if you'd like to mount your Yeti onto the st standard microphone studio mount, you can remove them by twisting these. Take it off real carefully, and you can screw this bottom part into your microphone stand. Now, the front of the Yeti is indicated by the logo. And volume. The volume here represents the volume of what you'd hear through your headphones or what we might through here through the stereo. Uh, the other dial on the front side, like I said, is a volume button. And we're going to turn the microphone around now. We're going to look at the back of the Yeti. There are two control dials here. You have your gain. This is the volume per se control dial for the Yeti that will pick up the uh, sounds in the atmosphere to gain, okay? And the second control dial contains four different, uh, four different recording modes. The first one that we have here is the one that kind of resembles a figure eight. This is the bi-directional 
icon. Bidirectional means that the microphone picks up the sound at the front and the rear of the microphone, while the sounds to the side are rejected and not picked up. Bidirectional is great for using when conducting interviews, uh, doing vocal like hello, talk to the hand, um, vocal duets, or using instruments. Okay, let's change it to the next one. This one gets used a lot. This is cardioed. Cardioed is the most commonly used mode and can be useful in almost any situation. If you're recording vocals or a podcast or a voiceover, that's what you'd want to use is the cardioed. And uh, it's likely going to be your best choice. When recording this mode, the sound directly is in front of the microphone here. The third setting is omnidirectional. Omnidirectional is um, the icon that resembles kind of a circle or an oval ring. Omnidirectional means that the microphone picks up the sound equally from all directions. The setting is perfect for recording a group of musicians that are playing at the same time, recording a conversation between multiple parties around in a room, um, a call, or any situation where you want to capture the ambiance of being there. Because the sound is picked up from all directions in this mode, the orientation of the microphone is very crucial. But as a good rule of thumb, start by orientating the front of the microphone at the primary source that you wish to record. And the last setting, the last setting is stereo. Now with stereo, um, you're going to want to start to direct the microphone at the source of the sound that you want to pick up. Um, you'll want to place the grill of the microphone anywhere from two inches to several feet in front of the microphone source. By centering the sound source, you'll get equal amounts of signal in both the left and right channels. Now, if you want a little more of the signal in the right channel, just move the sound source a little bit to the right, okay, as if one was behind the microphone. And if you want a little more of the signal uh, in the left channel, move it to the left, as if you were behind the microphone. The stereo pattern mode is great for vocals, ensemble choirs, and instruments. Turn this back here because we're going to put it on cardio for our audacity test. Okay, that's cardio. We're going to turn it around because it's yet it's so beautiful. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about using audacity. Is, is I'm not going to go too much into audacity because I'm going to assume that you pretty much know about audacity. Here is the icon right here. It's a free software. If you just Google audacity, A-U-D-A-C-I, T-Y, like Audacity, um, you'll, you can go ahead and download it. So this is not really a tutorial about Audacity. I'm just going to show you how you're going to sync back and forth to use the recording software with the Blue Yeti. So I'm going to open it up. Okay, so it's opening up right now. Like my uh, wallpaper too. The people at Blue Mike got to pay me. Okay, so it's opening up. This gives us a brand new audio file. Just takes a second here. Okay, so you have here speakers, headphones, microphone, and what we're going to do is we have, you want to make sure that when you're using Blue Yeti with the Audacity, that you want to um, make sure that your Audacity open is not open before you plug in your Yeti. Otherwise, your speakers and headphones and the primary driver drop-down menus in Audacity will not indicate settings for Yeti. So one of them is here. You just want to remember that in Audacity when you're recording, both of these must be Yeti. So this one, there we go. Speakers, Yeti. Microphone, Yeti. Here you're going to monitor. Set that on monitor. You see what I'm talking here. These here are for your output volume and your input volume. Okay, one is for your speakers. Of course, one is for your microphone. And here is the, uh, here's our test. Would you like to go ahead, cameraman? Testing, testing, the Yeti is fabulous. Me. The Yeti is your friend. Yeah. We love the, the Yeti. Yeti. You will love the, the Yeti, Yeti too. too. Okay, so that, so you can see there, there's my voice pattern. I'm going to stop it. Now, to sync back and forth, we want to hear it, okay? So we're going to just pull the file over here, click it here, and we're going to want to change the speakers from Yeti stereo microphone back to the way that they were defaulted stereo speakers and headphones. So let's go ahead and listen to that and you'll be able to hear it through the stereo here. Uh, we're going to go ahead, click on the green thing of course to play. 
Testing. Testing. The Yeti is fabulous. The Yeti is your friend. We love the The Yeti. Yeti. You will love the The Yeti Yeti too. Okay, so that, so you can see there, there's my voice pattern. I'm going to stop. So that's the demonstration there. Like I said, make sure that your Audacity program is not opened up before you plug in your Yeti. And that's about it. We really hope that you enjoyed watching this Yeti (laughs) tutorial. And we hope that you will enjoy your Yeti just as much as we do. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.